tourism arrivals in the state are on decline and this is the official and confirmed by the Tourism and Travel Association of Goa. The Tourism Association say that emphasizes on Goan food, culture, festival, music and the original laid-back way of life is the way to draw tourists back. But are we going to kill the golden goose? Here's the story in detail. The culprits for the decline increased hotel tariffs, garbage everywhere, high taxi fares, cheaper competing destinations, police harassment, and professional marketing strategy driving away of music festivals and the like. President of TTAG Savio Messias said, despite repeated requests, they have not been able to meet the tourism minister to convey their grievances. There's been a downward trend in tourism footfalls in Goa. It started a couple of years ago during the demonetization, then it continued during the GST issue and in the last couple of years it seemed to be a, a trend which we have noticed over the years. The present tourism minister just does not want to meet us. He's, since, since he has taken over the tourism minister, we have never met him despite repeated requests. We have met other ministers like Mr. Morvin Gudino regarding GST, uh, Nilesh Cabral regarding power problems and many others. But unfortunately, we are yet to meet the tourism minister. The state is, is full of garbage, the beaches are filthy and, and it's because of this reason that we are not able, we are, that we are losing a lot of footfalls. The increase in hotel tariffs, which is largely on account of very high GST at the rate of 18% for hotels below 7,500 and 28% for hotels having tariffs above 7,500 7, has been a big blow to the industry. The GST rates in Goa, in India are one of the highest. We have, been made, we have made repeated requests, Mr. Bobin Gudino has taken up our issue at the, G, at the GST Council but unfortunately all our pleas have fallen on deaf ears and many operators have pulled out. Many Japanese, Finnish, Danish operators have pulled out of Goa citing health and safety concerns for the last couple of years. Although infrastructure projects are required for enhancement of the tourism product, simple planning and application of little common sense while carrying out works should be kept in mind. High taxi fare and failure of the government to allow app-based aggregators and meters from being implemented has been one of the major issues that are affecting the tourism in the state. TTAG president says that beach weddings bring in a lot of revenue but the licensing procedures are cumbersome in Goa while in Kerala it is negligible. I was at a wedding at the Leela's in Kerala. And this wedding was proposed to be held in Goa, but some, for some reason they moved out to Kerala, so I had to attend this wedding in Kerala. I just happened to call the event management company the chief who was there over the period of three days, and I asked him, what licenses do you uh, have to obtain for a wedding? He said, none. And if you know the procedures in Goa, it's, it's, it's never ending. You require permission from the collector, from the deputy collector, from the police, from tourism department, from uh, GCZMA, from the panchayat, from and the music rights. People are complaining that sometimes they, they require, the event management company is required to put at least two or three people on this job only to seek permissions. The way forward lies in the emphasis on local food culture, festivals, music and way of life. That's what's going to get tourists back. Focus needs to be directed towards tourists who value the environment and quality of life and not aggressive, insensitive, mass, low quality tourism. There is need to improve the overall holiday experience and appeal to an audience that is appreciative of quality tourism. Our video journalist, Shamchari in Panji.